Now we play a round called Mocky McMockface. <laughs> this game involves Miles and Milton, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launch the Wheel of News, and whoever chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is travel. Miles. Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with trains. Uh, it's, it's the quiet coach, OK? Quiet. That, that is an adjective. It doesn't go far enough. Quiet is an adjective. It should be called the silent coach, shouldn't it? The silent coach. No one would have any trouble understanding that. It's the silent coach, right? You can't talk on it. You can't use your laptop. Children can't travel on it. You can't eat crisps. And crucially, <laughs> crucially, they, the train people, they wouldn't be allowed to make announcements. <laughs> Because the sort of people that have the mentality to travel on the quiet coach, which is the correct mentality, are the sort of people who check where the train is going before they bloody get on it. <laughs> For years, we've just not got these things right. You, a mock the weak audience, you're exactly the sort of people that know what I'm talking about. In, in Russia, during the revolution... <laughs> right. <laughs> During the Russian Revolution, the Russian army was able to travel to all of its battles by train. During a revolution, they were still able to rely on public transport. Imagine if we had a revolution now and the army had to rely on transport. We'd be buggered, wouldn't we? Certainly, <laughs> certainly those of us who wanted the army to win. Uh, <laughs> absolute nightmare, wouldn't it? Marston Moore 2016 kicked off. You know, the British army turning up seven hours late to every single conflict. <laughs> Oh, sorry, there were leaves on the line at Stevenage. There, were... <laughs> there was a passenger action at Crewe. We were going to be joined by the SAS, but they'd been stuck on a rail replacement bus service in Horrible. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miles. OK, now that leaves Milton. Let's see what topic you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And subject is music. We don't know much about Galileo. <laughs> he was a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> I live in a grade two listed building, which of course means that everyone in it has to be quite good at the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently all Chinese children who are learning to play the piano know a tune called Knife and Fork. <laughs> I'd like to take the band ABBA out for lunch, and if I could, I would, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> for Nando's. <laughs> when I was at school and it rained, we used to have to stay in for wet play. And when it was cold, we used to have to stay in and listen to this really dull band. <laughs> <laughs> AD 79. Julius Caesar receives the first ever weather forecast. Hail Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Points there go to Mr. Jones. Come on.